Hi. Mazda 3 from 2011, 2 liters gasoline, water pump and thermostat. Jack the car, go under it and then you need to release a valve on the rad radiator to drain the radiator from the coolant. Actually, you need to jack the car from there, not from this side, because the radiator uh, valve is on the driver's side. So I'm going to switch uh, my jack very fast and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, much better. So now I'm going under the car. I will let you see where is the valve you need to release. Below the car now, this is the radiator. And on that side there, right there, is the valve I need to loosen to be able to um, drain this radiator. What I usually do when I am replacing a water pump, I always replace thermostat because they kind of work together and uh, it's uh, easier to do it one time uh, than you're sure. Until the next water pump replacement, you do not need to replace your thermostat. And to do so, for starters, we need to unbolt this uh, tensioner here and under the tensioner we can see our thermostat and our water pump. With uh, this wrench 14, you are normally able to push this tensioner that way and release it from the belt. This is tensioner and there is the water pump. Uh, to get there, I need to take off this one first. With circuit 12 millimeters, you will be able to, uh, to remove it. Noticed one more bolt, so you have two below, one above. There is the thermostat, and here is the water pump. As you can see, they work kind of together. Before doing so, um, there is also an um, alternator below the thermostat and when I will release the uh, thermostat it will flood the alternator so I'm trying to cover this with something and I'll continue um, I was able to isolate uh, the uh, alternator now I'm going to unscrew those three bolts 10 millimeter bolts from the uh, water pump and some amount of coolant will also uh, flush out from here to uh, catch as many as I can, I have uh, put it, uh, my oil catch pan underneath the uh, water pump. How did I release this? I blocked like so with a screwdriver, then it couldn't turn anymore, and then I loosened this one. And then further, next one, same here, this one to loose the uh, third one as well. And now I need to unscrew those those three bolts here. If I'm not mistaken, they're also 10 millimeters. 
and then I will be able to take out the old pump. Yeah. It's not 10, it's 8 mm. The last one you really can't see, you need to feel it. So I unscrewed those three bolts, one, two and three from below. Now I need to wiggle this one here, so it comes loose. Eventually it should come off. Don't pull it out directly, let it flow a little bit. Just to be sure, I will go over here with a metal brush. Now, when you install back new one, don't forget the ceiling. This was with this side below and should go in like this. So now next step is thermostat. I need to release those tubes here, this one and this one. Then some of antifreeze will come out but I have covered my alternator and after that there are two bolts on this side here and on the opposite side there. I found out that with this extensioner you can actually go from this side to the third bolt of the thermostat and then it's and then it's okay. The third bolt was a little bit tricky. It's down there. And to get there, you need to come with your ratchet from this side, like so. There is just a little bit place to play with, um, but yeah, this one is tricky. Now let's compare the parts. They look like the same to me. We install this one back. Now let's put the pipes back on and start to fill in. One, two and down below is one more bolt. Three bolts are back to its place. This tube is back to its place. And this one there is also back to its place. Now it's actually ready, almost ready. I need to put this um, pulley on and then I can start to uh, refill the antifreeze.
After you have your pulley back on, um, I will tighten this later when my belt will be back to its position. Now I need to put the tensioner back to its place. Now we put the serpentine belt back to its place. Now I need to fill in the reservoir and then after that I'll start the car and we will uh, let the air out. Massage those tubes everywhere so the bubbles come out. Let it idle like this until the engine will get warm. Then I will wait, thermostat will go open and eventually I need to wait until the fan will start to, the blower fan will start to work. Okay, it has been a while. Uh, the bubbles are out. Now I need to put this cover back on the engine. And one more thing to do. Don't forget your plastic cover from below. I am hoping this video was useful. I'll see you next time.